Okay, and um, welcome again to Reason and Truth Ministries, and let's just open in prayer. Heavenly Father and King, even right now, we thank you for this time of intimacy, this time of worship, this time of prayer, this time of seeking you, even as we get into your word. Father, open our mind, open our yet soul, so that we will come to know you, even as you have declared in your word. Those who know you will be strong and do great exploit. And Father, this evening, we thank you for what you have done. We thank you for what you are doing. We thank you for all that which you have so designed us for in this time and this hour father we thank you that we are your servant we are your salt in this earth even as we continue to be ministers of the gospel of your word of your truth we thank you this evening for uh, a, a time of uh, um, um, dialogue, um, dialogue and conversation even as we peruse your word and we spend time with your Ruach HaKodesh and Yeshua Mashiach we pray Amen. Amen. Okay, this evening we're going to be talking about follow me. You know, uh, for the past few weeks we were talking about government and what have you. And every human person as we are, we want to follow someone or something. That's just the normal. That's how we are. That's how we were designed. We were designed to follow something or someone. And who knows that best? A culture the system, uh, the tradition, the entire universe and persons who, um, who pursue higher education, psychology, philosophy, economics, they understand these, the, the system of following a thing in particular. When you hear that word follow me or follow what, what comes to mind? What comes to mind when I hear that word? If I walk up to you right now and I say, follow me. And you don't know me from Adam. Would you respond? No. Would you even give a second look or a second ear to what am, I, what am I saying? Hardly likely. Now, that word, those two words, right, as it's utilized in the English, follow me. By itself, it carries no weight. It carries no, no trust, no, no, no type of body within it, in itself. And it must be related to other words in order for that follow me to have some type of validity, some type of strength, some type of weight. And Jesus Christ, he used those... Or those words or that word, are they if you're looking at it from a Greek perspective or if you're looking at it from a Hebrew perspective? Okay, so if you have your Bibles, you can turn to Matthew 4:19, and Matthew 4:19 is speaking about when Yeshua he was this when he started to gather his disciples, his apostles, and when he was moving now he's now starting ministry he's now going out there and he is gathering disciples so now in the hebraic culture a word a young jewish lad he wanted to hear at the age of bar mitzvah after he went to torah school and he learned the torah he learned the first five books of moses and he understood it he want to go on to higher learning where he's going to spend his years learning and understanding scripture in what was the scripture he said 4 9 matthew 4 19 matthew 4 19 so in, 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 that, in that context, these young lads, they want to hear that word, follow me. But that word follow me, as it is used in the, in the, in the Greek, is diotek, diotek, which is the Greek. You find that in 1205 in the Strong's Concordance, diotek, D-Y-O-O-T-E-H right that's diotech and when you read that scripture hear what it said i read it from verse 18 matthew 4 from verse 18 and he walked along the sea of galilee i read it from the holdsman's um translation 
Matthew 4 from verse 18. And he walked along, along the Sea of Galilee. He saw two brothers, Simon, who was called Peter, and his brother Andrew. They were casting a net into the sea since they were fishermen. Follow me. He told them. So now, he, now Matthew is recording what Yeshua said to Peter and Andrew. Follow me, he said. He told them. And I will make you fish for people. And immediately they left their nets and follow him. So now we read that scripture all the time. Jesus Christ walking along the, the path and he saw Peter, Andrew, James and John and these, these are apostles and he said follow me. Now think about it. A pastor going out men like T.D. Jakes and and um, Craftflow and the and the likes. They go out and they start to say, tell to young black men, follow me. What if it is gonna go through those young black men mind when they say follow me? What if it is gonna go through their mind? Two things. They will get access to be exposed in their ministry. Because they're following now a what? Somebody who has marketed, marketed an idea that is now reaping what? A lot of benefit from the, from the audience. So what they're following, they're following an idea or a commodity or a product that has been what? That has been fed to the audience. So they are marketers who are marketing a product. And these men and them, they clearly state it. So when they say, follow me, what they're actually saying, follow the product we are feeding to the people. So now when they come and they say, T.D. Jakes, Creflo Dollar, and what's his name, Joel Osteen, all these men, follow me. This is what they say with all their mega ministry. They say, follow me, come join us. What are you following? Are you following Yeshua Mashiach? Or are you following a brand, a product, a commodity that is fashioned by man's own ideology? That which has been so against the first commandment. Let me look at John 4, John 10, 4 and 5. Now follow me. What does that mean? And that Greek word there, it means to come, to hit her. Come, hit her. Come, hit her. And it's just come, hit her. Come, come. What you see, this is what you get. And it's so true. That is what that word there means. Diotech. That is the Greek word there. Now, in Greek and Hebrew, Greek is somewhat similar because it, it has a root meaning. And the root meaning carries the intent meaning of the word. However, here we are here at Reason and Truth, you know, we preface on the Hebrew because the Hebrew is the, the core subst um, substruct of all languages. All languages flows from that tree and that richness which Hashem spoke and he spoke into being the Aleph Tav and all language came out of it. We found John, John 10, 4 and 5, you found it? So somebody can read it for me. John 10. And when he put that forth his own sheep. Reading from the King James. Okay. Yes. And when he put that forth his own sheep, he goeth before them. And the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. And the stranger will they not follow but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. Right? So now, he is given now a clear understanding of what his sheep will do. So now, it's, 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 it's showing that the people who he's telling follow him have an understanding of who he is. Now, when Jesus Christ made that statement, follow me, follow me, 
it going back to what language he spoke. So now here in John 4 and 5, it, it used the word akoo teos, teo. Akoo o tie, t he o. So that is a k o l o o t h e h o. Right? That's the Greek. And it means a particular union. Right? It's a particular union. So now we're getting a more intimate relationship with the follow me. So you're seeing one speaking about follow me. Just come here to come and see what, what you get. And this word, it speaks about a particular union. It speaks about a closeness. A closeness. And that closeness is like when you take a path on a road. You know, when you take a path on a road and you're traveling on the same, on the same road, you could be on the opposite side of the street. However, you're close, right? Close within proximity of the road because you can't travel apart from this road. So meaning you are on the same road. You're going in the same direction. However, that does not signify that there is an intimacy or an intimate relationship on that road. You could be on that road, however, opposing that which is the direction in which you ought to go on that road. And we're going to see how it's, how, it's, how it's building up with that follow me because the follow me has its relation. It's, 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 it's root in that relationship with Yeshua Hamashiach. It has that root, that relationship with him. Because without he understanding that relationship, what is going to happen is that you're going to, ha you're going to have a falling away. Look at John 10, 27. John 10, 27. Right there. 